Vajashrava was a sage. Once he decided to perform a great sacrifice in which he wanted to give away all that he had. He had a son by the name Nachiketa, who was still a boy, but extremely intelligent and very pure in mind and heart. He saw that his father was giving away the lean and weak cows that were unable to give milk. My father is not doing the right thing by giving the old cows in charity, said Nachiketa to himself. So he went near his father and asked, Father, I have heard that the kind of yagya that you are performing, one has to give up all that one possesses. This being the case, who will you give me to? Vajashrava did not reply. After some time, Nachiketa asked the same question again, but in vain. His father did not respond. Nachiketa repeated his question, and this time, Vajashrava could not control his temper. He burst out saying to his own son, I will give you to Yam, the god of death. Nachiketa followed the words of his father and went to the kingdom of death. However, during that time, Yam was not present. No one dared to admit Nachiketa. So he waited near the gate for three days and three nights without taking even a drop of water. When Yam returned and found Nachiketa at his doorstep, he felt sad for keeping a Brahman waiting for three days and three nights. He ordered his attendants to fetch holy water to invite and welcome Nachiketa. After the hospitality offered to Nachiketa, Yam told Nachiketa, Dear child, I have not done good by keeping you waiting for three days, so I request you to ask for three boons. Nachiketa answered to Yam by saying, O Lord, let my father not be anxious about me and let his anger against me vanish. When I go back to earth, let him recognize me and receive me back gladly. Granted, son, said Yam. Ask your second boon. Dear sir, teach me the proper ritual for the fire sacrifice. This I ask for my second boon, said Nachiketa. Yam agreed and taught Nachiketa the proper ritual for the fire sacrifice. Then he said, Nachiketa, what is your third boon? Nachiketa said, Is there indeed a life beyond death? Some say there is. Others say life ends with this life. What is the truth? Yam said, Boy, do not ask me about matters of life and death. Even the gods are not clear on all points. Ask me something else. I will grant all your wishes other than this. Nachiketa persisted and said, Oh Yam, I only wish to know about the mysteries of life and death and nothing else. Yam tried to offer Nachiketa worldly pleasures so that he may change the nature of his request for the third boon. But Nachiketa insisted by stating that all worldly pleasures are short-lived and do not render long-lasting happiness. Nachiketa was bold enough to say that one can never reach eternal life through worldly possessions. Therefore, he renounced all desires for worldly pleasures and came here with the hope of reaching eternal life through the instructions of the God of Death. It was too difficult for Yam to change young Nachiketa's mind. So finally, he agreed to tell Nachiketa about the mysteries of life and death with the following words. The self is immortal. It was not born, nor does it die. It did not come out of anything, neither did anything come out of it. Even if this body is destroyed, the soul is not. The one who thinks that he is the slayer and the one who thinks that he is slain, both are ignorant. For the self neither slays nor is it slain. Smaller than the smallest and larger than the largest, the self is living in all beings. The knowledge about it can neither be obtained by discussion, nor by brain power, nor even by much learning. It reveals itself to the deserving one. This body is the chariot, 
intelligence the driver, the senses are the horses, conscience the rein, and the soul is the lord of the chariot. The self is superior to body, mind, and senses. Greater than the individual soul is the enveloping superconsciousness, the seed of everything in the universe. Still greater is the ultimate person than whom there is nothing greater. He is the goal of our aspiration. Once that supreme self is realized, death loses all its terrors. and the one who has realized becomes immortal the path to realization is long and difficult like the razor's edge narrow and sharp therefore there is no time to be lost awake arise bestir yourself and do not stop until the goal is reached After receiving the divine knowledge from the god of death, Nachiketa went back to his father, who, as promised by Yam, received him with affection. Nachiketa spent his life exploring the secrets of life and death.